So when we're trying to identify from an equation whether this is going to be a parabola, circle, ellipse, or hyperbola, we're basically looking at the squared values. So here we notice we have a 3x squared, and this one is a 6y squared. So because both variables are squared, you know it's not going to be a parabola. So we look at the coefficients, and we notice that they are different coefficients. And there is a plus sign, which means this has to be an ellipse. Every ellipse has an addition of the squared variables with different coefficients. So moving down to number two, we notice that they're both squared. And they're different, but we have a minus. So anytime your equation has a minus in it and they're both squared, it's automatically going to be a hyperbola. It is the only conic with a minus x squared or y squared. Either one. As long as there's a minus, it's going to be a hyperbola. Okay, on number three, we notice that there's only one squared thing. Anytime there's only one squared, it automatically has to be a parabola. Okay, number four, they're both squared, and the coefficients are the same, but there's a minus, and minus means hyperbola. Number four, once again, they're both squared. Nope, they're not squared. X is not squared at all, so this has to be a parabola. It only has one squared variable. So when we are identifying these things, we're looking for terms. And this one, number six, only one squared term. So it has to be a parabola. Number seven, they're both squared. We are adding them together, and they are the same. If the coefficients are the same, then it has to be a circle. Number eight, we are adding them together, and the coefficients are different, which means it has to be an ellipse. <clears throat> Number nine, we are adding them together, and they are the same. Therefore, this is going to be a circle. And our last one, number 10, your squared variables are being subtracted. Anytime we have a subtraction sign, it has to be a hyperbola. So when we're identifying conics, you're looking at the squared terms, whether they are being added or subtracted, and if the coefficients are the same.